All right, thanks for staying with us. Um, so I'm going to come to you, Maury. What did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so Deeper Life College suspends principal over alleged sexual abuse in a boarding facility. I'm quickly going to give you a rundown of how it went. So this woman comes on Facebook to talk about how a child was being sexually abused in school and, you know, the authorities were not doing anything about it. The child was being abused by seniors because, you know, the child bedwet. I think the child is originally in junior secondary school, but because the child was bedwetting, I think he's about 11 years old. Um, because he was bedwetting, they took him to the senior hostel, and then those ones would do all sort of abuse to him. Very, very graphic things that I can't really say on here, you know. Um, the boy lost so much weight in such a short period of time. The boy became timid. You know, the mother was like, talk to me, what's going on? He's like, if I tell you, they'll kill me, you know, in like a school premises. So she said she was having dreams and she went to the school to try and talk to him. They didn't even want her to see him at first. And then when she never really saw her son, she almost collapsed because of how the change that has occurred in the boy's body. So she came on the internet to talk about how the school is a very bad place to be. And I'm very proud of the organization kind of because they've suspended the principal that was in charge because how would this kind of thing be going on under your nose and, you know, okay, so they have done a about house it. Master. So, um, Maury, interestingly, yeah? immediately you took the story. I was going through mm -hmm. Instagram and I saw something mm -hmm. just before... Um, we came on the show. The mother is now coming out to do a video accusing them of taking her off the parents' WhatsApp group. Hmm. I just saw the video yes. now mm -hmm. because she said that, yes. you know, instead of them to address the situation, because mm -hmm. they told her not to go um, public with mm -hmm. it, okay. it and she went public with it, you know, mm -hmm. so they have taken her off, uh, I think, the supposed uh, parents' WhatsApp group. You wow. know, so is, does that even show that these people are truly ready to solve this problem? Hmm. What do you think? I don't know, but I think that for a starting, um, removing or suspending the um, VC, principal, pardon me, principal in charge, hmm. you know, is a great step towards it because it is his responsibility. No matter how many the children are, if mm -hmm. it's something that you are not up to, you could have just said, oh, this is beyond me. Mm. Like, I don't know if it's okay to say what they did to the child on here. I don't no. think the child is going to okay except oh. they need to get him a shrink because i feel like he has been scarred for life absolutely you were going to say something easy about the, the house a house must be supposed to be in that school mm -hmm. or the, the boarding school mm. so for them to have moved they him knew. From, i think the from... authorities knew the authorities mm -hmm. knew about it you know they were just trying to you know how people have this mentality of if you're in a boarding school you should suffer you should go through this you should go through that yeah, but um, i so get that's what they were no, what I'm saying is the housemaster House who is parents. supposed to take care of the facility where the boy was being uh, placed at the time before they moved him to, even when they moved him to the um, senior quarters, there should have been a senior um, teacher who was supposed to take care of the students. And whenever there is a challenge, the students are supposed to report to him. So I, 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 I'm saying, I think all of this, go ahead. Ignore this. Because when we mm. move a child, to a, to a senior or to a senior secondary school hostel and then you know that they are punishing him and then you are seeing him lose so much weight and you're not doing anything about it. You have to be a very cruel person. I, I, I feel like they were seeing it. They just didn't feel like so I, they I, I to stop anything. Okay, sorry. Uh, yes, I, I get that part of where they say that, oh, it's a Christian school, school right? Mm. A lot of a lot of schools commit a lot of I mean a lot of pupils in schools rather and teachers commit a lot of atrocities under the guise of it's a religious school, school right? I've mm -hmm. seen that happen over and over again, mm -hmm. and I'm very excited about the the fact that the mother is coming out and she's you know vocal about it. Yes, of course, please whoever is watching that is close to the mother, mm -hmm. this boy needs immediate help in terms of his psychology. psychology because that boy i don't know how he's going to, i have sons i can't even think about it like it is the most horrible thing to do to 
any human Child. being, right? I get the part of punishing you, mm -hmm. go and fetch water, go and cut grass. But when it but comes to sexual molestation assault. for a boy, mm -hmm. that is a no-no. You know, mm -hmm. I, I can't even... I can't even stomach it. Like, I am feeling sick to my stomach. And they should call out the children who yes. participated. So, the in house it. parent, it's not only sacking the, the principal, there's a house parent. Mm -hmm. I, my children are in a boarding house. They have house parents, for mm -hmm. goodness sake. Right? So, there's a house parent that needs to be called to question, mm -hmm. they, that needs to be fired as well, you know? So, there fired are so is many. Going, yeah. He's, he's putting it mildly. And go to, they need to be prosecuted and taken to jail. Yeah. Because he should have stepped in immediately. I think, I think this woman was even able to speak about it because she was not a member of the church. Hmm. I'm sure that if she was a member, they would have tried to maybe silence, silence her. Silence her one way or the other. Or ostracize her, probably, as mm -hmm. well. Or they would have maybe blackmailed her, saying that you are trying to tarnish the image of God and stuff like that. So she was able to come out and say things that, you know, the way she did because she was not a member of the organization. We're going to talk about this more. I Absolutely. think we, we need to bring the someone maybe in the, in the religious space. space. To, to talk, talk about, about this Especially because this is not school. yes this is not it's not funny it's not right it's not so, even something that i want to even continue so, thank you mori for your story okay. you see, what did so you find in for my us, story then? after i fished the net <laughs> and everywhere okay we all know that covid19 currently is there's a new slide the second uh, wave of um, covid19 is around the corner mm. and we are all scared scared that there will be um uh, another lockdown so we are pretty taking we are trying to you know avoid this that's why everybody's saying put on your mask and you know and um, observe all the safety protocols so after two weeks this is what caught my attention after mm -hmm. two weeks of high figures in nigeria covid 19 infection cases have declined for a second day mm -hmm. monday and uh sunday we have been praying hard <laughs> 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 we have been praying hard. So That's all I can this say. This could actually this is good news for us. On, yeah. On, all right. So yes. my story is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So I saw I saw a story on Insta on Instagram. Yes, I think it was on Insta blog. Mm -hmm. I just thought to mention it because we we're talking about youth today. Yeah. And this young boy, um, got oh sh sugar. I, I'm forgetting his name now, but he's a 19 year old student, at the University of Illinois. He committed suicide. Oh, and dear. tell me why he committed suicide. Why? So he invested about three hundred million dollars, um, million naira, sorry, ah. <laughs> three hundred million naira um, mm. to a Ponzi. It's not really Ponzi. So in mm. his mind, it was forex that he was dealing. He was dealing with a, a, a supposed forex expert, oh, right? That was to his mind. Mm. And this transaction happened some uh, somewhere around June. So he's been. On and on, they keep saying they'll pay the money. Okay, so because so what eventually led to him committing suicide is that that 300 million is a pool fund. He pulled a lot of funds from his friends, from different people. So the mm. person that, that was narrating the story to um, that I read was mm. saying that he lost about five million naira personally. You understand to this guy because he gave no 300 million 300 million 300 yes 300 million 19 year old a 19 year old if that question is is still i still have a question mark there how would a 19 year old um, old brother handle 300 million mm -hmm. so he he gave out i mean uh he gave this uh, Igbo guy i can't remember his name but i think his, his initials are ecg or something mm -hmm. he gave that guy the 300 million to invest in forex mm -hmm. with the hope of a return and all of that mm -hmm. and now since june till december they promised they were going to pay the money they keep they kept push, um, posting the guy posting the guy so mm -hmm. i think the guy had gotten to that point where he couldn't handle it anymore because everybody was he was under pressure to oh, return dear. the investment of all the people that he had collected uh, crowdfunded uh, collected the money from so that's how this young boy a 19 year old boy just you know and he didn't, he didn't speak up in fact the person that was relating the story said that he actually thought he because he gave them the impression that he was the one doing the forest forex oh, trading dear. you know so because i've been seeing a lot of forex 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 online you know and all of that is it another ponzi scheme is it this is it that uh -huh. it's only god that can tell because there's too many things right now that I... is pulling everyone to want to go into all this you know bitcoin is around the corner as well, <sighs> as well. i don't understand i don't i don't even want to understand do. it exactly I don't want to understand it, <laughs> but we'll take a break. <laughs> when we return, we'll be talking about how we can position ourselves for 2021, you know, as young people. Stay with us. We'll be right back.